Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And today, this is the Freedom Sports Network. Since this game is not televised by default by the game, not on satellite, not on local TV. And uh, looks like I'm playing Rutgers. For some reason, I thought I was playing Navy this week. So I have that wrong already, so we'll have to change that up, take away this, and uh, looks like we're playing Rutgers. I went by memory since the last time I played, and uh, I might have saw something else, but Rutgers 2-7, and seven, not so good. We're in South Bend, Indiana for this one. I worked my way up to number 23 after the big win against Boston College. What's up, Mike Stacks and Adam? How you guys doing? Let's just get this in here. Is Rutgers. And there we go. What's up, Rolando? Deontay? We got some people in here. And today we're featuring on the right side the Libertarian card from the Illuminati card game. Stop printing 1996. It is surprising how many people in the United States don't even know what Libertarianism is. So that will be something I talk about here in a moment. But let's get into this game. I've been having a lot of fun playing NCAA Football 2003. Uh, great college, you know, band music. The announcing's good in this one. Mike Stacks is... Oh, you're welcome, Rolando. My brother heard it, the request, and that was a game we would usually play on Thanksgiving anyways, NFL 2K1, so it was easy to... Uh, fulfill that request for you. Mike Stack says he has a PS5 not open. Just don't like the launch games. Yeah, I'm with you. I won't be... I don't think I'll be moving forward with anything past the Switch. I have the Switch. Don't play it much. Uh, and the PS4. I just don't play that much either. Deontay's saying, I move through the third world, my third eye, the guiding light. Invite, <laughs> invite the fight. We all die tonight. Go ahead. Ask me a question. So, so I'm ranked 19 now. Someone must have lost in between this game starting. Oh, no. I must have went ahead a week. That's what happened. So I was supposed to play Navy. So it looks like a little bit of a little bit of issues here to start off with. So let me reload the season. I don't know how that happened. Remember I that I told you about the 989 sports in 2000? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I know about 989 Sports in 2000. All right, let's load this season back up. It's on slot two. And as we're waiting here, so who in the chat knows what libertarian philosophy is? Just a few things about it. Yeah, show me a list. All right, so play week. Yeah, there's the game. I must have tapped the button on accident. Navy, as I was setting up. So that's what happened. A little bit of a rocky start here, but we'll be playing here in just a moment. So Navy, 0-8. This should be a game I win. 
And as you can see, if I do win this game, I'll be close to a, a rank 19. So the win will help a little bit. Deontay says, will the press plant fear and exploit the gun blasting? Uh, are you, you are these rap lyrics, Deontay? What's up, Antonio? So libertarian philosophy is just you pretty much let people do what they want as long as they're non-violent. People want to harm themselves, whether it's by drugs or whatever, that's fine. It's also a philosophy of small government, something both Democrats and Republicans are not. And uh, it's not about heavy taxing from the government. Uh, puts more trust in the people and their goodwill. And uh, there's always a presidential candidate from the Libertarian Party on all 50 states. And they get like 1%. Of course, the media doesn't talk about them much is why that happens. But it's really alarming how much power the media and general has over people that's really the main issue we deal with here in america today wu-tang clan that's what that was <laughs> media equals satan pretty much they'll try to get you to believe anything is good for you so this game is there's rain it's such a low budget broadcast that there's no announcers for the game. I forgot that they did that. So we'll see just how bad these guys are. See if I could just run them out of the stadium. But since this is the Freedom Sports Network, we decided to let all the fans in the stadium. Isn't that a novel idea? They're out here drinking some beers, eating some nachos, drinking some Coca-Cola classics. Not that that's all good for you. Turn on the Jets. And you could just tell Navy just does not have the speed. So in today's sports world, if there was a uh, a liber say if there was a libertarian controlled state, which there used to be a libertarian governor in New Mexico named Gary Johnson, then that state would not let coronavirus win. And there's an easy touchdown. You would let all people in the stadiums. Uh, you know, the people would be on the sidelines as normal with no masks. But Democrats and Republicans, even though they're, they have their differences, they're both big government and they're both dominating the people in all of the states. So let's see some sports related topics here. Rolando says, NFL Extreme 2, Game Breaker, 2000. Yeah, they put out a lot in 2000, 989 Sports. You're right about that. NFL Extreme 2 isn't too bad. I have no interest in Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. I know it's like a big name fight, but um, these guys are old guys. I have no interest in watching them fight. It seems like another hype uh, related event kind of like McGregor versus Mayweather like people didn't know that uh, Mayweather was going to win in a boxing match they could have three or five more broadcast different announcers we're just far from where we should be in video games yeah, I mean, money infiltrates everything, and it, it sometimes, most of the time, will ruin a good thing. 
So yeah, definitely could have more announcers in each game. Like say, say a game went in NBA wise solely with the TNT broadcast, and you know there's all the different uh, announcers for each game. Uh, what you got Reggie Miller on there, Chris Weber. Um, then you got uh, what's his name? Not L. Michaels, Marv Albert. You could have like different games broadcasted by all those guys. Uh, but they don't do that. They just have, uh, you know, the one set of broadcasters and that's it. It is similar to NFL Blitz. The first extreme I remember playing is pretty bad. I think I have the second one. But uh, it's just not worth it playing it over Blitz. I know there's a few people who, who do like it a lot, so. Oh, a little swing pass. So it looks like Navy's not uh not looking so good here early. So the interesting thing about living in this country up until this year is that pretty much any political philosophy you had, you can pretty much roll with it through uh through our system you know if you were a capitalist well this is talking finance now but if you're a capitalist you can make a lot of money and spend it and do what you please if you're a socialist there are social programs set up for people who are either less fortunate or just want to take advantage of the system uh, if you're a libertarian, you can pretty much walk through and just not bother anybody and be free, be happy, and, you know, you couldn't avoid some of the taxes, of course, and the, the big government that surrounds you, but you could pretty much carry out that philosophy. Um, today's United States of America is quickly becoming a communist country by the safety precautions put into place. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes from here. I do expect at some point there will be a, a deal to get rid of personal property. Personal private property. We'll see how that goes. Oh, don't need to be getting my quarterback injured in this game. What's up, alcoholic? Uh, yeah, I have some of those. I probably have game day 2000. Yeah, you're right about that, Deontay. Come on, I'll run these guys. He says, capitalist mentalities put money and success over compassion and generosity. This world is going to hell in a handbasket. And that's, that's you're right. Some people take it to the extreme, and that's what you end up with. But you were free to do that if you chose to, and free not to do that if you chose to. So I'm just running the ball here because it's really easy against Navy. When I get a two-score lead, I'll probably just start throwing. Throw to 21, I know, he's my money guy. It's just too easy running the ball on Navy, though. Touchdown, Notre Dame. This is one of those gimme games. What requests for tomorrow? Mike Stack's got a quick story. Let's hear it. We got times for stories in this one. 14 nothing lead. No announcers, just a PA guy. 
Navy's having a tough season. Oh, NFL game day. Yeah, it's something I'll take a look at. I have to see if I have it over here. I know I have 98. I either have 2,000 or 99. I'm not sure which one it is that I have. Yeah, Navy's run D is really bad. That's why I just started running the ball. They're e the guys are easily blocked. They can't catch up. My running backs are not even that fast. He's in the 80s. I think he's only like an 82 speed. My quarterback's like a 76. They must be really slow. Number 22 going for at least five TDs. Yeah, this is where you stack, stack it up. I might uh, try to throw some to number 21. He's like 6'5", 92 speed. Freshman. Ooh, could have been a one-handed pick. I did have some fun today playing outside with the the neighbors next door, playing some football. I got this little mini Bears football. I was playing all-time all quarterback for an hour or so. Just teaching them some basics. Like, they didn't know that you could lateral backwards in football. And if at any time. Also, it's a fumble, obviously, if you lateral backwards and miss it. He says in Massachusetts, but live in New Hampshire. I'm getting to it. Wow, they're opening up the passing game. Then 10 years later, I see on my phone they say we are high risk. So if you travel, you need to do 14 days quarantine. If you don't, you'll be 500 fine per day. Yeah, that's insane. And that's just based off of their... The, the phantom virus. So they're, they're telling you that this is so threatening that you have to do this or else. I do have wrestling games. No, we played a lot of WWF No Mercy, also Warzone. My brother plays those more than I do, but I do bust them out for time to time because I have some good memories of wrestling games in the 90s. 21 Maurice Stolville? I don't know. I haven't really looked up the player names in this. It's kind of nice not having them in these college games. You could just kind of go by Team Prestige and what the program stands for. Uh, or if you got some superstars talking about him. I agree with you, Mike. I hate the rules, too. Everyone, they try to ruin everyone's lives. It's BS. Yeah, that's, that's why I busted out this card on the right today. Just to, you know, give people a reminder that there's different ways of going about how you live your, out your personal philosophy. Definitely something way more sinister, Deontay. I agree with you. Football 2003. Yes, that's what I'm playing. Has anyone played NCAA football 2002? Is it worth getting? Oh, I hit... I hit my uh, number 21 on a quick slant the last game for a touchdown. Let's see if I could hit. There was uh, someone in the chat a while back, like when I was playing Ma one of the Madden EA Sports games, and he was like, man, you don't, you don't know how to throw slants at all, do you? You'd never go for them. So then I started practicing them a little bit, and I saw that, oh, crap. Got nailed as he threw. Play 06 on Xbox. 
<laughs> We're all waiting for Bill Gates to make a decision. I mean, this is... It's just, uh, we li we're living in, like, a movie every day. Just a reality script playing out. Just have to wait until they go through the cycle. Well, the passing game's not working out for me, is it? Third down. I'm gonna run. Yes, the uh, the big government two sides do work together to exploit people. I agree with that. Number 22. Ah, I'm going for it. Two yards. Oh, guys. Sneak. Got through there. Oh well, that's the risk. I should have just kept running. Uh oh, bad screen. Threw it forward. I have other NCAA football games. I have 04, 05, 06. From what I remember, I spent the most time playing this one, though. Everyone says 06 is the best. Oh, pick that off. NFL Survivor? Well, I haven't been watching the, the NFL this year at all. I'm done. Until they let all the people back in the stadium and stop showing horrible commercials, I'm not going to watch anymore. I know some people just can't let go of their sports and they've invested years watching these teams, but I just can't do it. What's up, Eli the Wolf? Well, NCAA 14 was the last one. Oh, they're going for it. Fourth and ten. I like it. I went for it on fourth. They're going for it. Oh, and they hit. I had a chance, and I blew it. Navy. There it is. Oh, I tried to stiff arm. Didn't work. All right, let's get the option going again. I don't think I've had any defensive touchdowns yet this season. They're all over it. The one thing I really don't like about this Notre Dame playbook is no shotgun. I am usually someone who likes to use a good percentage of shotgun plays. The hitch and go. Double covered. Went for it anyways. And it's just not going good when I throw the ball. I did see the list of the 2000 uh, 989 sports games. Breaking tackles. Yeah, he's just the best thing going, the running back. Might as well just keep him. Keep him drilling it in. Shotgun bang with all that thing. Yeah, well, I have to go with what's working. NHL 14 on 360. He's open. All right, it's time to call one timeout. Still got two left. It's 
see if I can get those slants going again. Can't find the play though. First, first ten. Ten. Ball Ball the 22 yard yard. This is not the slant play I'm looking for. Throw it to the running back. I'll I'll look to see what I have. Touchdown Notre Dame. Cruise down the field that time after uh, going three and out, or at least the turnover on downs on the last drive. What I'd like to do is get a little bit better. Defensively, I haven't been that sharp with the middle linebacker. So I heard that Notre Dame is pretty up there right now in college football. I haven't watched anything since the first game. I know they beat Clemson, but I heard they're like, what, top three right now? Yeah, Justin, needed that. Uh, usually the games I've been playing are much closer, but this one, so far I'm dominating. Navy just doesn't have the talent. Getting drilled. Let's see if they even try to do anything here. I wonder who the fastest player is even on his team. Do I watch hockey? No. But I never really watched that much hockey to begin with. Hockey just was not shown on TV here in Chicago. The Blackhawks owner growing up only showed it on cable and only the away games. The home games, you actually had to go to the stadium. I have World Series Baseball 2K1 and NBA 2K1. World Series is the weakest out of the sports games on the Dreamcast. The first one, you couldn't even play the field. By the last one, I think was 2K2. It was a pretty solid baseball game. It wasn't bad by that time, but the first one looked amazing, but it was a huge disappointment. What's up, James Bond? Thanks for stopping in to say hi. Got this one under control right now against Navy. Oh, well, the quarterback's taking off. So I got a question for you guys. What is the sports game that you spent the most time playing out of any other sports games in your video gaming career? Yeah. Watching hockey during the playoffs. Wisconsin doesn't have an NHL team. That never really made sense to me. How does Wisconsin... A state that's up north, it's colder. Don't. How do they not have a NHL team? It would make sense that it would be bigger there because you could do more pond hockey with the colder weather, but they just don't have one. Modern 2K. Well, I never played enough of them to to know for sure, so I wouldn't be the best person to answer that question. I got, I liked the 2Ks on the Dreamcast. They played really quick, and then at some point, the players just, they started moving slower. 
It moved less like an arcade game and more like a clunky sim simulation where their movements were delayed. I never really uh, enjoyed that too much. Where's this slant play that I was killing with? This play clock's so short. Green Bay Gamblers. Oh, fullback gets nailed. Yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. This is pay dirt. Oh no, they caught him. Number twenty-two on the run. Thirty-five yard gain on the play. I need it. Here's a slant play. Although I don't know if it's the one that I've been typically using. They're twenty-one. There's a throwing touchdown. Notre Dame in full control. 2K11 has Jordan on the cover. Yeah, that was. I know those were, ones were pretty good. But I never really got into them. I was always more into NBA Live. Although I can admit going back and playing some of the games that. Most of them weren't the best basketball game out at the time. Joe Montana, NFL Sports Talk. I have played that one. I think it's Sports Talk Joe Montana 2. But I think it came out in 93. Because Joe Montana Football 94 is completely different. I know in 94 that's when he went to the that he was already on the Chiefs at that point. Going deep, picked off. Got some moves for him. That slant, especially with a big target. Fast player, big target. Four completions. That's all I've needed so far. Best modern WWE game. That's another one that I wouldn't be the best to answer. Yep, the U.S. Navy, that's who we're going against. <laughs> Did Bill Gates die in 2015? I don't think so. He's just, they're still putting him out there. Oh, man. Oh, he almost caught it. I was just trying to get rid of the ball. I was going to run with the quarterback, but they brought some kind of blitz. No! Well, sometimes a better team makes miscues. That's what it did right there. I wonder if I get number 90, 21, the receiver, the ball, on like a quick hitch or something. If I could just get him in for a touchdown because he's so much faster than all the Navy players. Oh, yeah. Played that perfect. Although he picked it up first. Going for a ride. See, even Navy has shotgun plays.
Good job. In the party. Awesome. Can you watch two now? Not today. I'm playing this game right now. You want to watch this football? No, I'm going to play two. Okay, not right now. My daughter paid a visit to the stream. Punt return for a touchdown. There we go. Justin, that was asked earlier. I'm not watching it. It that's my initial thought just hearing about it. That's kind of a joke. I mean, these guys are old. How old are they? They're both in their 50s. Thanks, Justin. Navy's making me look real good in this one. Just their lack of speed and talent. And they're getting beat down. Looks like for sure I will be going 8-2 and two after this one. But there's still some work to do in the scoring department. Whew, we got nailed. I don't think uh, casual sports gamer Joe really pays attention to the government. It's like I said, in the in this country up until this year, you could pretty much live out whatever philosophy you wanted to, and not pay attention to it. But this is the the stuff that they're enforcing now, though. It's really intrusive because it's in, intruding your physical person. No, Dave and Buster's. I won't. I won't be in there until their safety regulations are pulled. Wish everyone there the best of luck. Oh, they're throwing Hail Marys now. The pass falls incomplete. Number 34 on the cover. Fourth and 10. Yeah, I don't think it's too inviting right now. Actually, I think I think Dave and Buster's took me off their email list because I gave them a piece of my mind one too many times. Because I don't get emails from them anymore. They never responded to me, but I don't get their emails, so I'm guessing they took me off. They didn't like what I had to say to them. Big target. It's another touchdown. It's one of those games where if you're in a Heisman Trophy race, you can really pad your stats. There's another big throw right there. Oh, J.B. Pritzker. Yeah, he definitely sold his soul, you know. This big fat guy trying to tell people how to be healthy is ridiculous. For those of you who don't know, he's the governor of Illinois, the state that I live in. <laughs> Mandela Effect. Mandela Effect is one of those conspiracies that I pay attention to. I don't completely dismiss it, but... Uh, I have a ha hard time getting on board fully promoting it, but it is certainly interesting. I mean, the most popular ones, like the Bern, the Bernstein Bears book, Bernstein Bears as, as it's read now. But that's how a lot of them are, where it's just like letters that are off or the phrase has some words uh, removed or added. Rudy Giuliani, I, I've seen him busting into the news lately. I, I don't know why anyone would pay any mind to the guy. 
But yeah, what you called them, pretty much. Pretty much agree with that. Oh, big time hitch. Yeah, this is way too easy. It's really the first blowout, though, I've had the whole season. All the other games have been down to the end. I probably wouldn't have lost the first game had I not just went in cold turkey. But I was out of practice. And I lost that one. And then I lost one to Florida State, which I had my chances. I just couldn't do anything in the fourth quarter. The Bernstein Bears books. So basically, everyone remembers it as the Bernstein Bears with like the I E N at the end of it. But if you go back and look at the books, it says Bernstein Bears with a I A N. And there's a lot of different examples of of this. And basically it's called the Mandela Effect because Nelson Mandela is who it's named after. And a lot of people thought he died in a certain year. And then it turns out he didn't. And then he died later. So I don't know if it's something that like the news does to people, the media, where they, they make you think it's one way and they, they change it to another thing. Like I said, it's one of those conspiracies that I, I pay attention to, but I'm not, like, promoting. But it, it is interesting to think about how everyone remembers something one way, and then it's not that way. Another one is, like, Luke, I am your father from Star Wars. I think it says something different, but that's how everyone remembers the line. The sharpness on the TV? Uh, yeah, I've changed it. Not recently. Oh, that's a pick. Can he outrun him? First pick six of the year. Notre Dame dominating. Longest interception return. This is where a lot of firsts are happening in this season. There's also... I don't know, do you guys want to hear any more about the Mandela effect? It's something interesting to look into. There's other examples. So Eli says he went to Dave and Buster's. How was your experience over there? On the option for some limited success. Oh, Cole else Cole S pops in. Giving stream tips. Thanks, Cole. They're down an eight. They're going five wide receiver. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Number 17 on the reception. So this one's going to go down. Is an easy win. It'll put me to eight and two on the season. And continue to climb my rank. I don't know if I'll have a chance at the national championship or not. With two losses. But if I keep winning. 
I'll definitely get in a pretty good bowl game. I, I give him credit. Still going back to the option. Look at this power eye they got. They have, they have an interesting playbook. They got power eye, then they have five wide receiver shotgun. They got it all. They'll just go with Navy's playbook. They didn't do a good job with that play, but it shows you the... The uniqueness of some of the plays in here, fake handoff to uh, an option pitch. You don't get that type of stuff in Madden. You don't have to go undefeated to make the national championship. I think you could have a loss depending on your strength of schedule, but and also what the other teams do. And there's certain teams, even if you went undefeated, you wouldn't be represented in the national championship have I ever cracked a hundred I probably have playing some of my friends back in the day um, but versus the computer no you know some of my friends just do stupid stuff and it's really easy to run the score on them Almost 50. We'll see if we can get to that 50 mark before this one's over. Now they're covering the option pretty good. Really? That, that one uh, pick was enough for him to be player of the game? All right, then. I'm calling a timeout. I'm trying to get this uh, get this 50. Bradford in the chat came in. I play Rutgers because at the beginning of this, somehow I s switched to the next week. 41 is the man. So I play Rutgers. And it's another easier game. Shouldn't be as lopsided as this one, though. This one's pretty bad. Yeah, it's a joke. A lot of people saying that in the chat, or at least a couple. I think the same thing. Oh, I should have. It was actually not to the tight end. Let's see if I could hit this slant. Second ten. Oh, interesting. I guess if you're doing fur meets, right, that counts as a mask. Adam always wants to run back. Uh, I've been I've been better at keeping my pace, playing one game at a time. That keeps me going and motivated, looking forward to the next time I stream and play. Get him killed out there. Oh, I'm going for it. Oh no! Threw a pick. <laughs> Slow cook the wolf. I haven't heard of that uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, no 50. Couldn't do it. Went back to the, the well too many times on the slant. Tried to hit it, almost got it. Didn't, didn't happen. Shut out 49 to zero. 49 to zero.
That's what I said. It's it's all it's a hype fight. It's like, oh, these are some of the best boxers, but they're 15 years past their prime or more. Let's look at the stats real quick. Individual stats. Don't care about Navy. Had a good game till that pick. That one hurts the stats a little bit. Running back, 141 yards. Fullback got some action. Oh, let's look at the wide receiver. Number 21. 149 yards, two touchdowns. It's a big game for him. Bigger games, but no one had like a blow it out of the water. He's in the Heisman race kind of game. Big cards fans from Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, Matthew, this is a good one. Wolves with gravy. <laughs> and I'll save now, and then I'll save again before I close this out. And... I'd like to see where I rank in the top 25. Thanks, Justin. I appreciate that. I like to keep it real, playing some sports games around here. No BS, just straight up sports. Let's see, so if I... I'm just so surprised that Illinois is number 19. Eight and one, that's nuts. Just simulate through this week and see where I end up. Too lazy to hook it up, Rogue Gamer. Week 13, I don't play, is that right? Let me see where I rank in the top 25. Up to 20 after winning 49 nothing. Still can't get a PS5? I guess they're harder to get, aren't they? I won't play till week 14. Simulate this week. See where I rank. What is the main feature of the PS5 that makes people want it so much? I'm just trying. I just I haven't done a lot of research on it to be honest, so I'm just want to know for my own knowledge. Well, the recruiting part in this game. So, yes, I'll be playing Rutgers on a national broadcast. I'm number 17. All right, see you, Justin. What game is worth a buy now? And on the PS5. Yeah, I... I just, like, I have a friend that sent me that he got the PS5 and he had, like, Spider-Man and maybe he got something else. Just fast load times. So that's going to be a big game when I come back and play the next one. We'll overwrite this season. Well, Miami, number one's a given in this. They just have so much speed on Miami games in this era. They had some excellent recruiting. But more recently, Miami's fell off from what I know. 
But it's good to be ranked number 17. Coming up big. Been ranked now the last few weeks. And that's going to do it, guys, for today. Thanks for tuning in to this broadcast on the Freedom Sports Network, also the Retro Sports Gamer channel. And we'll see you next time with some more sports games. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you later.